Mina-san, konnichiwa. This is David. And Mina. And this evening we are in reviewing the 1144 Kamiki Burning Gundam. I just did the unboxing a little bit ago and I pretty much built it immediately. It's a good kit, so mm. I was excited to do so. Um, this is, yeah, this is his, um, you know, signature pose thing. Um, Everything is about, about this is awesome except that fucking sword. Yeah, the sword is a huge disappointment. <gasps> Um, but it won't be once I paint it. Yeah. It's just straight build sucks. Yeah, we tried to do the straight builds for you guys so you can see what it looks like coming out of the box. And sometimes yeah, that kills us. Yeah, and, and this is one of those cases. I just they hate that sword. Hate that sword. <laughs> um, needs paint. You can't just use it out of the box or else it looks like a dumbass piece of shit. Basically. <laughs> okay. Um, I all the profanity. Yeah. So if you're one of our underage viewers... So sorry, don't tell your mom. Oh, can you grab that piece? Do we have underage viewers? I, you had to I think we do, it. actually. Yeah, you can absolutely watch YouTube under 18. Oh, um, I've even I've heard some people ask if we could cut down on the profanity, because they're like, my parents will hear this and they'll be upset. Oh, okay. Well, if your parents are upset, have them write to us and we will formally apologize to your parents. Seriously, I will absolutely do that. Yes, I will. Um, if that's a thing. So, um, anyway... It has a, a the scabbard, mm -hmm. so you can pop it onto the back. Mm -hmm. um, the scabbard's actually really well affixed on there. Sometimes they put the scabbards on the back like this, and they're not very well um, adorned. Mm -hmm. But in this case, it actually snaps on really nicely, and mm -hmm. there's even a slot for it, so it doesn't wiggle around much. Mm -hmm. It's got a little bit of range of motion, but that's it. It's real yeah. nice and tight. Yeah. Okay, so... Um, these effect pieces here. Mandala. Yeah, it looks a little bit like a Kingdom Hearts kind of heart. When it's all up in the, uh, there. Yeah. So these are um, these are actually five pieces each. Um, it's the big piece here, and then it's got a connector, and then it's got the three pieces coming out. Um, so you've got a total of ten pieces here um, to build this whole thing. However, that's not the end of the effects pieces. There's actually way more than that. Um, I just didn't put them on because these are all the same ones that are on the, um, the try burning. Um, and I believe the same ones that are on the build burning. Um, so you have your Jigen Hao kick and punch um, that's gonna have that like sort of flame comedy effect going on, which is kind of cool. And then you have these streaks, which can go into any of the open slots on them. Um, that's a nice little backpack piece to replace those mandalas. Um, and then these are like sort of snaky pieces. They connect together and form like a chain effect, mm -hmm. um, which is kind of cool. Um, but these are the same ones that are on the other kits, so I'm not bothering with them. Mm -hmm. um, they also don't really go good with the kit when it's got the nice big adornment on it. Right. Um, so I didn't even bother popping those out. As far as the kit goes, this is not dissimilar from the build burning and the try build burning um, in basic build. Uh, it has the same um, uh, same chest effect. You can um, pop the chest out a little bit, so it has a better range of motion. Mm -hmm. um, what else did we see that on, on the? Um... Oh, it was just in the cathedral and we the were cathedral doing. Yeah, a lot of the a lot of the build fighters kits have it, and that's nice. Mm -hmm. um, it really gives you a lot more posability for the HG line. Mm -hmm. um, this thing right here, of course, is a sticker. Uh, it looks okay. I, I actually think it looks a little mechanical uh, for what it would be. Like I would, it, the way that it looks, it kind of looks like it should be painted on, like mm -hmm. hand, like kanji style painting. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's not. It's okay though. Um, in the show, it's like a view screen, right? Because like they're... It like changes, it, yeah. yeah. Um, and one of the things that's kind of cool is is that it comes with a sticker that's a blank one. Mm. Um, so you could put your own thing on there if yeah. you wanted. Um, that's kind of neat. I like that. Uh, another thing that I noticed that I think is kind of clever is that right here, this bow, it kind of reminds me of the Nobel. The um, Nobel. Yeah, but what it's... Uh, or the, the chest on the Nobel. Oh, right, right. The, 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 the ribbon on the chest. Um, but it's, um, it's not like the Nobel ribbon, it's actually like a karate gi, right. um, which is kind of clever. I, I like that. I think it's cool. Um, anyway, as I was saying, it's a lot like the build burning and the try burning. It's like on a slight rocker ball here. Um, so it's got a nice range of motion on the waist. Of course, that sword's going to get away in the, a little bit in the way, but you can turn them all the way. Um, 360 degrees. <laughs> if you need to. Um, he does have a series of hands. He has 
those hands. He has these style holding shit hands. Mm -hmm. He also has fists and he has flat hands. Um, so he can do karate poses and stuff. Right. Um, or I'm sorry, sorry, not karate, kinpo. Kinpo. Because okay. um, he doesn't do karate. Yeah. Um, and anyone who says otherwise is going to get in a fight. Yeah. <laughs> so these actually, the arms come off of the, the chest a little bit more than I'm used to with the build burning um, kits. Yeah. But, um, in like by itself it looks kind of dumb to me because it looks like there's like nothing holding the arm on but if you rock that up like that i think it kind of looks neat mm -hmm. um that's not inherently the way it's drawn like that's not the way it is in all of the poses but i like it that way better um so how do you feel about those shoulder pieces i think they're dumb okay i hate the shoulder pieces <laughs> i really think they're awful just wanted to get that out of the way full, full range of motion with the legs here yeah. um Going backwards, you've got a limit because the back skirt does not move. The back skirt is hard. Um, it has no 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 flexibility. So he can't do a Cynthia Rothrock. No, he can't do. Oh a no, Cynthia. that's the other way. Yeah, Straight yeah, yeah. Um, these skirts, good. these skirts do have a limit. Um, they go a little bit more than ninety degrees. Mm -hmm. um, but because of the the knee there, mm -hmm. you might run into problems. So if he's going to kick, he's going to kick off to the side a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um, but he is well balanced for what he is. There you go. Nice feet for that. Um, he seems sturdy so far. I haven't even had the um, that thing pop off yet. Um, I had to <laughs> without pull. pulling. Right? Yeah, I had to pull on it, which is good. With the cathedral, it just pops right off. Um, the head fully turns, which is cool. Um, yeah, I, I actually like the the V fan. The fan. Yeah. The, yeah, the whole assembly is cool. I like the head. I, I think it's actually probably the like the sort of shining part of the kit as yeah. far as that goes. Like it's the only original part that I really like. I am not thrilled with the neck though. I don't like the the, the neck. It looks too narrow. Mm -hmm. I kind of think it should be down further onto the kit. Yeah. Um, but that's just a minor gripe. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah. So let's see. Does he come with anything else? He actually comes with a lot of extra parts because of the fact that he is a modification of the build burning, the tri burning. Um, let's see. Extra fist parts. We get a couple of extra polycap pieces for the old style arms. Um, we have we have the build burnings backpack here. Mm -hmm. So if you really want to, you can do the build burnings backpack. Um, the backpack on this is, is identical to the tri burning. Um, which is very similar to the build burning, except it has an effect piece in the middle of it. Cute. Um, yeah, so it's got that sort of stripe of effect there. Let's see if we can get that to, yeah, there we go. Um, so it's a little bit different, but if you want to put the old build burning one on there, you absolutely can. It's definitely a part of it. Um, it has a couple of the replacements for the effect parts. Um, you put, plop those on in, instead of the effect parts if you want a more mundane looking kit. Um, why you'd want that? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is a big flashy end of series thing. So. Not, not to judge or anything. Uh, totally, <laughs> totally different. Did it come with a stand? Uh, no, no, no. This is just a stand that I have laying around. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm on this kick right now. I really, really, really want things to come with more stands. Yep. Um, the Cathedral Gundam came with one. The Transient comes with one. Portant the um, the Portant comes with one. The Denial does. Um, Pretty much every, like, all, all of the later season, um, b um, sorry, Build Fighter stuff does, except for the hero kits. Um, none of the main hero kits have them, which sucks. I, I think that's awful, and I think Bandai needs to apologize, basically. <laughs> to us, pretty much. Well, they have these really cool new stands that are, like, a single little tiny piece, base, yeah. barely a runner. They take, like, three seconds to put together, yeah. and they look really nice for what they are. Um, and, and Bandai sell them, seriously. Yeah, please, and they don't them. sell them separately. It's right. stupid. It's, it's stupid. I want them. I want them. Um, probably. Okay. Yeah, I think it is. I figured I'd say something before somebody in the comments told you. You know, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what you are an expert on, there. You know what? Gun Gunpla is freedom. It is strange. If you want to put them on upside down, by God, nothing can stop. Okay, you. there we go. Um, so we have this really big showy piece, mm -hmm. and he, surprisingly, he can actually stand up with it. It's mm -hmm. it's pretty big. Um, but yeah, there's the there is the Kamiki burning. I, I, I think it looks really cool. Mm. Uh, I think that um, aside from the shoulders, which I'm not thrilled with, basically my gripe with the shoulders is they're they're very edgy, like they're very blocky, um, and the rest of the kit is very like rounded and sort of organic looking. 
Um, so it kind of clashes aesthetically to me. Um, not thrilled with that, but by and large, it's a cool kit. Um, I think it's weird that a master of Kinpo would choose to add a katana to his kit, but you know, it looks nice. <laughs> And there we go. There's the Kamiki burning. I think it's a cool kit. Um, it's pretty cheap. I think I paid, what, 1,600 yen for it, so. And this is not exclusive. Everybody should be able to find it. Oh yeah, yeah, this is this is just a bare bones kit. Like, yeah. it's not premium, nothing like that. It's, um, should be available pretty much everywhere. And it's relatively recent. I think it came out today. Um, might have came out last week, but I'm pretty sure it came out today. Mm -hmm. And so if you're outside of Japan, you might be able to get it soon. I don't know. Um, but it's pretty cheap. It's a cool kit. I um, I really like that back effect piece. Uh, other than that, I would probably I would probably go for the tri burning if I had to. Uh, but I I really like the burning book Gundam kits. So mm. I don't know. Anyway, if you have any um, recommendations, requests, that sort of thing, let us know. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and matane. Matane.